something I've mentioned quite a few times over the years is my love of studying World War Two, and I think I first studied Anne Frank and read her diary when I was about 10 or 11. Obviously didn't fully comprehend everything at that age, but over the years I've enjoyed watching different documentaries and I've been fascinated by various books about the subject. I discovered the existence recently of the 1995 Diary of Anne Frank animation and my first thought was, how on earth can there be an animation about this? It seemed, I don't want to say disrespectful, but I was confused as to who the target audience would be. Having now watched it, it seems like a lot of people have loved it a lot more than I have. It seems very juvenile. And that's not insofar as it sugarcoats some of the seriousness, because it doesn't. I feel like it, when it discusses the Nazi-occupied Netherlands, it does discuss it in a way that might scare a young child. You know, it doesn't necessarily sugarcoat too much. Obviously, it's not quite as bloodthirsty. Um, so from that aspect, I'd say it's suitable for slightly older children, maybe preteens or young teens in the first year of secondary school learning about the Second World War. But the dialogue and the narrative approach is so infantile. There's one point where I believe it was Anne Frank's mother said to Otto Frank, her father, very matter of factly, something along the lines of, we had to escape the Nazis and now they're making us wear a yellow star. In that tone of voice as well. Very the voice acting here is not great. Um but it's just the way they kind of deliver facts. You know the first rule of storytelling is show, don't tell? This is very much tell, don't show. Now I'm not saying they should have rounded up Anne Frank's family and got some Nazis and demonstrated the brutality. But it's that's where the confusion comes in because the story itself and the topics it covers are suitable for older children or even adults wanting to learn more. There is a lot of factual information in this. But in terms of the way that information is delivered, it's very much this happened, then we did this, then we went here, and it's it's utterly appalling. Um, so it's kind of confusing as to who it's aimed at because it speaks to you like you're a six-year-old, but it covers topics that most certainly are for six-year-olds and does go into a nice level of detail. It doesn't hide too much apart from Anne Frank's family, that's absolutely appalling, Amy. Um, so would I recommend it? If you're older and are just looking at a way to recap on Anne Frank, um, I'm not, I can't vouch 100% for the factual accuracy. There may be some things in this that are not 100% true or the dates are off or some of the characters are not quite what they would have been. I can't remember everything exactly. But if you are looking to recap or you're looking for an introduction and you're slightly older than a child, it's not so bad. But don't expect a fantastically told story. It will move you emotionally a few times. Um, Otto Frank is pretty great in this. I like the way his character and his personality comes across. And actually, the the voice acting for Otto Frank is not too bad either. But the rest of it, it's kind of hard to get on board with it because it's just very poorly made. The editing's okay. The pacing is quite okay. I think it starts at a good point. It starts around Anne's birthday when she gets the diary. Um, and then it progresses quite well across about an hour and a half. So it has some good points. But I think they tried to do something that's quite difficult. Tell the story of the Nazis from Anne, Anne Frank's perspective in animation. And they've kind of missed the mark a few times. If you're interested in this subject matter, give it a watch. But if you are not particularly bothered or you are you have zero prior knowledge of Anne Frank, I wouldn't say that this is a good starting point. 